Well, this is the first system test in the new SCR, but since this board is portable, we can jump right into this series without having to wait for things to get set up. Unlike the collection shelves, which is taking a long time to get set up. I'll give you an update on those and all once everything gets set up. Here's the other board. The other board just made it just fine. And we have the smaller ISA board, which made it here just fine. And then there's this side of the board, which the panel is right now taken down because it's on the new system. In my system test series, I demonstrate different fire alarm devices with different fire alarm control panels. This is the ADT Unimode 10UD, also known as the Firelight MS 10UD. This is a 10 zone conventional fire alarm control panel. The first device we're gonna be looking at today is the UN Control SL-2000N duct detector. A duct detector monitors for smoke conditions inside an air duct. If a smoke condition ever did exist, the duct detector could do things like shut down the AC to the building, block certain air ducts, set off the fire alarm systems, and etc. Since duct detectors are commonly mounted in hard to reach places, they usually have something called a key switch. This little device allows you to monitor the conditions of the duct detector and also test it. And as you can see, there's a lot of different kinds of these. This duct detector's key switch has a lot of features. It has an LED indicator, which will turn off if there is a trouble condition. It will uh, show green if it's in normal, which it is right now, and it will show red if it is an alarm. It also has a key switch, which you can turn from normal to test, and this will allow you to either test the duct detector or reset it. If an alarm condition exists within the duct detector, it has an LED strobe light and a piezo which will sound. Today we're gonna test the duct detector with an actual smoke condition, and we're gonna do that by spraying some canned smoke into the holes in the back of the duct detector. These two holes right here on the back of the duct detector connect to two special pipes. One of the pipes goes out, and it usually has a bunch of small little holes on it, and those holes take in the air that is inside of the air duct, and then put it into the chamber that is inside of the duct detector, and that chamber has a little smoke detector, and it's always sensing for smoke. And for air to leave the duct detector, it, has a, it usually has another pipe that goes out, so air can then return back into the air duct. We're gonna simulate a smoke condition today just by spraying a little bit of canned smoke into one of the holes. Here we go. As you can see, the key switch just went to alarm, and now the fire alarms are about to go off. Once the system has been silenced, we can either silence the duct detector key switch by resetting the system or resetting it manually with the key switch. We'll go ahead and do that, just for demonstration. And now the duct detector has been reset manually. And now that that's all reset, we can go ahead and reset the system. The duct detector also has a feature where you can test it using a magnet, so we'll go ahead and test it. And thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.